Hello, my name is Manuel Heredia. Welcome to part four of Mini Puppet Adventures. Today we are assembling all the electronics that make our robot work, including the LCD display, the control circuit board, the onboard computer, Raspberry Pi, and the battery. So we have a lot of work to do. Let's go get it done. Let's start the installation of LCD display of the Mini Pub. The LCD comes already pre-assembled with a custom circuit board with two holes where we will fix the screws. Let's straighten the cable and then let's feed it through the front opening and fold the ribbon cable like this. See? So we put the circuit board in place and we secure it with two screws. Then we need to carefully fold the ribbon cable and put in place the LCD display. Let's remove the protective film and install the frame on top of it to hold it in position. We will fix it with um, four screws. These are very small and they're a little bit fiddly, so uh, handle with care, as usual. Next. We need to check that the ribbon cable is fully through, as shown in the image, and if necessary, pull gently with a tool like this until it is no longer showing from the outside, like seen in the image. Next, we will install the battery. So we turn the robot upside down and uh, then put the battery like so with the cable facing forward. First we feed the cable through the square hole in the bottom plate like this and then we just need to align the three pins in the battery with the corresponding holes in the uh, lower plate and push it. So after we push we slide it backwards to secure it in position. There you go. Next, we will connect and install the custom circuit control board. The board will go in these four spacers that we had previously installed in the top plate. But first, we need to make all the connections. This is the connector for the LCD display. And this is for the battery. The next step is to connect the 12 servos um, on these I.O. pins. I prepare this sheet to identify the position of each one of the cables. The pins are numbered from 1 to 12, plus some spurs. And you need to be careful that the copper endings are facing towards the left side of the robot, like so. So from left to right, we start with the servos of the front right leg, the ones in my robot with the green tags, and then we will go for the next ones. Mm -hmm. The next one are the front left leg, yellow tags. And at this point, you will probably will be happy that you label the cables in the first place. As we go along, you may want to remove the labels uh, once they are no longer needed. Okay, so Please, you can do it on your own time. So this is the last one. Let's now look at the close-up. So the rear right leg corresponds to the blue tags in my robot. Always with the copper endings facing left. Okay, let's remove the labels now. And then we go for the last one. So after we've connected all the servos, we need to gently push the board to make them fit 
inside of the robot body, like this. Then we will fix the circuit board using the four spacers. The two in the front go went well, but uh, at least in my case, the two in the rear, I had difficulties to thread them uh, properly. So what I did was to temporarily install a screw in the spacer and then use the screwdriver to make a bit of pressure while I'm screwing the spacer in place. Then when you're done, you just can remove the screw. Be careful and pay attention when you're uh, putting the board in place to avoid straining or damaging the connectors and cables, especially the connector number one, which is the uh, one on the left, the first on the left. At least in my case, this one was very, very tight. Just you can look at the close up, almost clashing with the setup. Okay, so we're done. Uh, oops, I accidentally powered up the robot, which is not a good idea to have power on the circuit, so be careful with this. Now, this leads nicely to the next piece of advice always hold the robot by the frame, like so, and uh, avoid uh, holding it by the hips because uh, you could uh, uh, force the bearings, um, the zeros, and by all means, never touch the LCD. It's very fragile. You maybe can see that my screen is cracked and I didn't even know how it happened until I reviewed this um, footage of the battery installation. Yeah, did you hear that? Again, slowly. Yeah, that's when my screen was cracked. Don't be like me and please uh, handle the LCD with care. So next, we will uh, install the fan on the board. We fix it with two screws with the sticker facing up. And then we uh, plug the connector in the board following the diagram. Very easy. So now we're finally ready to install the Raspberry Pi, which goes up, upside down like this. And then uh, we just press being careful not to accidentally power on the robot and just just hold it with the um, uh, 40 pin GPIO connector uh, to the circuit board and it's done. If you want you could temporarily install some screws but this is not strictly necessary. With this we have uh, completed the installation of all the electronics in the next video we will download the software into the SD card which then goes in here and we will be finally ready to power up our robot. Thanks for watching and see you soon.